Hello and welcome to this uh, ninth video tutorial in the File Systems video tutorial series. My name is David Thorne, I'm from Thorne Web Design. Um, now in the previous tutorial we talked about um, fopen and actually using fwrite to write to the file. Now not forgetting the fact that fwrite using the mode of w um, will then truncate the file, basically erasing everything in it, put the, put the file pointer back to the beginning um, and if the file doesn't exist then it will attempt to create create the file. Now, um, and then we wrote to the file and we made sure we used fclose to close the file handle um, which we got, um, which is all good. Now in this one we're going to learn how to then append data to the end of the file okay, and then close the file without then truncating the whole file itself. So as previously before we had our um, our text file which we're going to write to is fopen.txt um, located in the test directory underneath the document roots. Okay, so without further ado, let's um, begin. So first of all, what I want to do is before we're going to open a file um, to be appended to, we want to check that the file exists this time because um, that's what we need to do. So path, we're checking if path exists and if it does exist then we can then um, get a file handle so we're going to say f open and then path but this time rather than saying w we're going to say a as in for appending or append to append data okay now just to quickly highlight um, what the a does here opens for writing only place the file pointer at the end of the file if the file does not exist attempt to create it okay therefore we could use um, we we potentially don't need to do this because um, it will create the file if it doesn't exist but in this case I want to know the, that we're testing for it just for the sake of um, just for the sake of knowing that that's what we're doing okay so my video tutorial that's the way I want to do it okay so now the fact that we've got um, this file pointer here um, we're going to just say if fp to make sure that there's no mistakes and if um, there are no mistakes then we'll just say uh, f close and fp as I showed you before it's good practice to close the file pointer file handle um, once you've opened it to make sure that other people can then open it and write to it and read to it uh, and so on okay so once again f writes now I just want to show you before we start writing um, the data that's inside the file is one line this is the first line of text and what we're going to do is then we're going to place down this is the second line of text this is the third line of text and so on okay so um, first argument for for f write is then the file handle the file pointer which we're going to be using in this scenario is what f open returned uh, upon success okay and within inside of here we we'll say um, this is the uh, second line of text and we're going to put then a, a backslash n for a, a new line break and then we're just going to copy this again and then we're going to say this is the third line of text and we're going to leave off the new line break there okay nothing more than that and just for the sake of um, output in something this has uh, outputted or this has saved new data correctly and just for the sake of um, just for the sake of seeing if we do refresh something next time we're just going to um, stick the time on the end all right just so if we do refresh it you can naturally see um, what the time was when we did it all right um, don't really need to do this but rather than me refreshing the page and it's staying exactly the same this way the page will change if and when we do refresh it okay so it's purely just for instructional purposes it's nothing to do with f open okay so let's come to our um, fs.php which we used and this is saved new data correctly okay and as you can see here the time there so let's refresh our fopen.txt and as you can see here it's then put the data um, onto it now if we then uh, refresh this once again you see here 34 seconds now and we do this again you'll see here okay now why did this do this the fact is is that because it's just writing data it's writing data to the end of the file now at this uh, this scenario the end of the file 
um, was here. Okay, it was after the T and it was, um, before the the capital T. Therefore, um, it's good practice to place the new line to tell it to go to a new line. All right when you do finish. Now you don't want to put two down because then it will jump to another line. Therefore it's just good practice that once you're finished on the line to move the file pointer okay, to the beginning of the line of the next available line. Therefore when you do reopen it and do start appending to it, it will then uh, write to that one position. Okay. Um, I mean there's not really much more um, to say on this about uh, appending it will just keep on appending and appending and appending so if we put the n in there and then just keep on um, appending this whoops just do this one instead and just keep on appending this all the time when we come back to here and refresh it you'll see that um, the first one went in like that but then it's all then gone um, third second third second third second third second third uh, as um, we were putting them in uh, that's it so it basically doesn't uh, allow you to remove anything because it's just a pending data on whatever was in the file already um, is then safe and you don't have to worry about it all right you just need to make sure you continue this formatting sequence um, correctly so when you do want to open it and read it it's formatted in the way that you want it to be prior to passing it any data and so on okay um, very very simple uh, tutorial we'll delve deeper into the usage of fopen in the next tutorials but for the time being I think that showed you then how to append data and write data and close data using fopen. My name is David Thorne I hope you learned something from this um, subscribe if you like my channel uh, like if you like this uh, one video thumbs up otherwise uh, depending on where you're seeing this one video um, thanks very much and I wish you a good evening goodbye <laughs>